Well, I used to live in Bristol up until recently and I was interested in how to make energy usage a bit more interesting in a home environment and uh, I'd made a kind of nice looking graphical thing on a web page and I was really uh, disappointed that my housemates weren't at all interested. So I thought, how can I make this a bit more interesting? And I came up with the idea of using a, a robot a bit like this one to try and make an interesting pattern that would draw people in and then when they saw the patterns, they were curious, then they would get an understanding of energy. If we start with the mechanical side, um, it's very simple. It's just um, two strings that go up and then come down into a V. That's why some people call them a V plotter. And then in the middle, um, you have something, something to hold a pen. And then by having two motors that can change the length of the strings, you can move anywhere in the campus. And then we get a feed from the solar panels upstairs in the museum. We process that into a graphical pattern, and then that gets drawn on the robot. That's not being drawn at the moment, this is Alan Turing, upside down. What they want is to have a pattern that is slowly being drawn throughout the day. It's gonna start in the middle in a spiral, and over 24 hours it will reach the end of the spiral and then along the spiral it will draw petals or seeds and the size of those petals or seeds will represent how much energy was generated off the rooftop array in the last two or three minutes. I've deliberately made it so that kids can come and press their faces up against the glass and see everything inside so we've exploded it all and things are going to be labelled so children can understand how the robotics works. My hope is that by people becoming more interested in energy usage and generation and consumption, they'll pay a bit more attention in their homes. And by reducing the amount of energy that we all use as a nation and a world, we can make a significant impact to our worldwide resources.